All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Stanley took the bucket with him into this little hallway and closed the doors. This was their hideout. No one would ever find them here. Of course, no one would ever find them anyway because everyone was missing. But Stanley chose to ignore this fact and instead focus on how cool the hideout was. Just him and the bucket, two renegade heroes against the world, inside their secret, undetectable hideout, here, next to room 417. What a treat. Ah, no, apparently not. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. This is day number 295, tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still I haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, 
because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Thank you.